Hey, welcome to SC Custom Designs, and I want to wish all of you a happy uh, Memorial Day. Hopefully you're getting the best you can out of your weekend. I started mine off by grilling and shaving my beard off. It'll be back, my friends. I already miss it. Uh, so summertime is here, and, well, maybe not officially. Uh, but, uh, so we got we to gotta just move on. So we, here we are. We're continuing the episode on... Lessons learned making the bandsaw boxes. Now, if you've been watching, is this the first time you're watching uh, my episode? Uh, what's a bandsaw box? Well, in, in this case, these are bandsaw boxes that I've made. Uh, most of these guys are made, cut out from a, from a four by four, okay? So, and you don't have to use a four by four. You could glue up wood like this. And if you look back on my episodes, you'll see that I've taken wood that I've glued up and made some pretty cool bandsaw boxes. So this is a wedding gift for this lovely couple here. Coming up next week. So i got to move right along, and, and I kind of am, but uh, there you go. So we, we went ahead and mostly finished this one here. This bandsaw box here, isn't it really handsome? I've got to make some uh, a handle for it. Still, still deciding what that should be. Uh, look like or whatever and then we'll be staining them with gray uh, stain minwax stain and then finish them off with a uh, natural beeswax uh, with orange oil in it so you may notice that uh, these bandsaw boxes these two here are on top of a block there's a block this came from the middle Let's see if I can do this whoop I can that came out of the middle here right so that guy was in there. I already cut the sides off, the front and the back. Um, and I'll just put it back in quickly if I can. Um, there we go. So from the stock in the middle, you can actually not throw that away and waste it, my friends. Um, you can make nested trays. Okay. So, all right, I'm not going to try to get that in. It's probably this here that's stopping it from going in but anyway you can make nested trays and that's what I've got glued up here I'm gonna set my camera down and I'm gonna uh, take those take the clamps off and we're gonna finish by uh, gluing these guys up look how small this guy is let's see let's see if we can do this without getting in my own way um, get an idea of how small this is. I don't know if you can see that or not. The camera is it's really hard to do this with one hand. But let me just go ahead and try to get it here. 7 sixteenths. It's pretty small. And then we have this piece here left over in the middle. Um, I call that episode, you can look that up, uh, Challenge Accepted. Because I really stopped here and I took that block and uh, I, I made this, and, and, and now we have this. If anybody has any ideas how I can make a tray out of this guy, please uh, comment. I'll leave your comments. By the way, welcome again to SC Custom Designs. Uh, this is a business my wife and I run on the side, okay? A QA guy in the daytime. My wife works with garments and all kinds of wonderful things. She's amazing. Uh, so look us up. Uh, if you're watching my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be remind, not reminded, um, alerted that a new video went out. So let's go ahead and put this guy down. Again, we're continuing the series, uh, Lessons Learned, with, in, with the bandsaw boxes. I stopped along every uh, part of the journey here, my friends, so that we could talk about what I've learned. Uh, and I really just started doing bandsaw boxes in 20, I think in 2017. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this guy over here and take it apart for you. Now, I really don't have enough clamps. You watch this clamp pile up here, and it may seem like a lot, but it's not. I could use triple the amount of clamps. So there we go. Here's this one here. Now these guys are going to fit right back inside 
uh, of this guy. So I haven't really practiced to see how this is going to work out. I tend to do my videos live and I don't rehearse or anything like this. You can probably tell my friends. So let's go ahead and free this these guys up as quickly as I can. Okay, there's one there. Uh, you really only need about, depending upon your humidity levels and your temperature, I have a pleasant uh, 68 degrees down here in the wood shop, and the humidity level is 65. Uh, it's the first time I thought about getting one of these for the wood shop. It's pretty important to know what your humidity levels are. Uh, I have a dehumidifier over in the corner, and uh, we'll be plugging that in soon. So let's go ahead and nest these trays. Now, you know, it's unlikely I'll be able to fit them in um, because really there's a lot of sanding that has to happen. Obviously it doesn't go in that way, but I was pretty pleased that it actually went in. There we go. So the beauty about bandsaw boxes, my friends, is they have to go back together when you're gluing the pieces up the way they came apart, okay? So... There we go. Mm, he's not wanting to go in there, and I'm certainly not going to force it in. I got to do quite a bit of sanding um, here. Probably too close to the camera. Until I get a better camera, this is this is all like the best I can do. Sorry, guys. Okay, that's that would be why that wasn't going in. Got to go with the grain. All right. Well, we got to sand sand these guys down. Then it'll be fine. So. There we go. So this will be a pleasant little surprise. Well, that's if they're not watching this video. Um, a pleasant surprise when they open this one up. So obviously I have to do a lot of sanding. So when they pull this out, ha, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so there you go. Well, let's continue the progress. Where we are is, so uh, this is pretty much where I want it. Got to make some handles, glue those guys on, you know, or just leave it without handles. I don't know that it has to have a handle, you know, but uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in. Please uh, remember to check back because, uh, like I said, I'm going to show you every every part of the, of the series. Again, lessons learned here. Uh, in the shop of SC Custom Designs, uh, making the bandsaw boxes. Okay, so um, you know, bandsaw boxes are obviously made over here on the bandsaw, and uh, I have a small blade on here uh, that I use. That these, this is a wonderful for making really tight turns, right? when you're uh, cutting them out. So, hey, thanks for stopping by. Let's get on with our day and get busy here. Again, uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. Please spread the word to others uh, who like to uh, work with wood. And please share your ideas. Uh, show me your wood shops. I love seeing the wood shops that uh, you guys have. Mine's in my basement. And uh, it's a cozy little spot, and we enjoy it. Take care, guys. God bless.